This is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com, and I'm going to show you how to uh, work with shapes here in this particular tutorial. So I'm going to go ahead and first open a brand new file, and I'm going to just make this actually, I'm going to use one of the presets for web, and I'm just going to open up the uh, 640 by 480, that's fine. Go ahead and hit OK. And it will just take a second here. All right, now that we have a new document, okay, one of the, there's a couple ways to select or create shapes in Photoshop. So the first way you can use is the rectangle tool, okay, and this is your shape tool. And the shape tool will allow you to create various shapes with whatever foreground color that you currently have selected over here. So if I was to switch this to brown and then start creating another shape, it would create the shapes using that specific color. Okay, So you can overlap these shapes. You can do whatever you want. Now, the one thing about what I've just done is that these shapes will not move. I cannot drag and move these shapes. As you can see here it says could not complete your request because the layer is locked. So we'll come over here to see what happens. So we'll go to our layers palette. And as you can see, we've actually just drawn generic shapes onto one single layer. So it's actually merged all those shapes into the background layer. There's a way to actually get around this. The first thing that we're going to go do is I'm going to switch this back to white and hit OK. And then what I'm going to do is hit Alt Delete on my keyboard. Okay, again, that's Alt Delete. And what that's going to do is it's going to fill your background with your foreground color. Okay, so that's just a shortcut key to fill your foreground, fill your uh, actual layer with the foreground color. Now, what I'm going to do is there's actually an option for that shape tool. So I'm going to use my shape tool again. And if you come up here to the top, you'll notice these little options that you have up here. Now, whenever you use the tools in Photoshop, you'll always have options up in this toolbar. This is basically where all your tool presets and options are. So as you'll see, when I click on these different tools, those options will change. Okay, So those pertain to that specific tool. I'll use my rectangle tool. And actually, I'm going to click on Shape layers okay because this other one all that really does the fill pixels all that really does is the same thing as using the marquee tool making a shape and then filling it okay and what we actually want to do is we want to create a shape that can be moved and changed so we're going to use actually the shape layers and what this does it creates what's called a path okay and what that will allow you to do is it will actually create this shape on a new layer. So I'm going to change the color here so you can see it, make it red. So now we have this nice shape. Now if you come over to the layers palette, you'll notice that there's something that looks a little bit different here. It's no longer merged onto this background layer. It's actually created inside of its new layer. The nice thing about this is that this shape, okay, if you use your move tool, which is here, and the shortcut for that move tool is V, so if you use the V as in Victor tool on your keyboard, you'll be able to toggle that tool. And then you can just click your shape, and now you can see that that tool or that shape can now move around. So if you want to quickly duplicate this, all you have to do is use your Alt key again, click, and then drag, and click, and then drag while holding the Alt key. You have to remain holding the Alt key the entire time to duplicate those shapes. Now, as you can see, those shapes have all now been created over here. Okay, So if I was to select this one, I could then go back over here, make sure that my shape tool is selected, and then go ahead and uh, change out the color here. So first of all, we want to fully make sure that our shape is selected. And you do have to make sure that this particular part of the shape is actually selected. Don't sh uh, select this. Um, part of it actually make sure that this is clicked and you can you can see the difference because there's a little white rectangle that actually surrounds it because you'll notice what happens even if I have this shape checked here you see this box is white up here it's not red so in order to make sure that you can change the color in that particular box you need to make sure that this particular area is clicked on alright 
So once that's clicked on, you'll notice this box now changes the color, fills the box. Then you'll come up here, and then you can choose the color to any color that you want. And it has a live preview, so you'll notice that this color will change right away. So then we can go ahead and change this. Let's go ahead and just make it a nice blue, and hit OK. So now we have that blue shape. Now, if you want to, on an individual basis, just continue creating shapes. Just choose your color, your foreground color here, as mentioned before, and then using the shape tool, create the color. All right. So you notice that this time it actually chose that same blue, and the reason being is because I still have blue selected up here. And what happened is I actually have this box still selected. So in order for that to not happen, what you'll need to do is make sure that that part of the box is not selected on the layer. Okay or you can go ahead and create a new layer. So now you'll notice that when I change my foreground color, let's put it to black or like a dark brown, go ahead and hit OK. You'll notice now that updates here and it updates over here. So anytime that I change this color, when I'm first going into my shape tool, it'll change it here and here. And the only way that's going to happen is if you don't have one of these items selected. So you got to make sure that that little square rectangular highlight is not on. Okay, so that'll allow you to actually work with that specific color. All right, just like that. Once that shape is made, you can then choose any color that you want and it'll update in real live time. Okay, so hopefully that really helps with the shapes and Hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Have fun with it, and thanks for watching. This is Aaron from PhotoshopDemos.com. We'll see you next time.